Well, good evening, folks. Good afternoon or good morning, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. And I hope that I find you very well indeed. So thanks for popping over just to check out this very quick and easy soup recipe. Another classic traditional soup that's so easy to make. And this will give you so much soup and it freezes brilliantly as well. I have shared a ham and lentil soup with you before, but never a split pea soup. So that's what we're going to do. So let me go and show you what we're doing and as usual all of the ingredients will be in the description box underneath so start off with a really big stock or soup pot and to that you want to add a ham bone i'm using a ham hoch or a ham hock so whatever you can but if you can get one with a good bit of meat on it that's all to the good because we're going to use the meat later on so you want to simmer this for a, a minimum of two hours honestly the longer you can give this simmering away the better your stock is going to be and the more tender your meat is going to be so i would say a minimum of two hours but yeah longer if you can when you're happy and your meat has had its time lift it out and just set it to the side i'm just going to pop mine onto a plate and you can see how the meat is just falling off of the bone so let this cool down and you just want to shred the meat just take as much meat off as you like with the stock just strain it through a sieve just to catch any wee nasty bits that might be in your stock because you just want the clear stock so set your stock to the side for the time being get the same pan back you know no need for a different pan use the same one because that pan is going to be full of flavour from your ham. So pop it onto a medium heat, a wee bit more oil, add your onions and your carrots and give that a good stir. Now you want to saute this for about five minutes or maybe just over five minutes. You want these to soften up a good bit before you add your stock and your seasonings. So I would say give it a minimum of five minutes, but you'll know yourself when things are starting to soften up. Now these are the split peas that I'm using. You want to rinse these well just under some cold water and then pop those in as well give that a good stir through and again give it a couple of minutes just to sort of cooking away just to take the raw edge off once you're happy you can pop your stock back in it doesn't need to be cooled down or anything you know just pop it in because it's going to come back up to the boil anyway to this i'm going to add some salt some sage some rosemary and some white pepper now these are all obviously completely optional up to you you can add or leave out what you like and what you don't like this is just what i'm using but i would recommend you know if you can use white pepper in this it makes a big big difference so pop your lid on and let this simmer away gently for about an hour and a half longer if you've got time but about an hour and a half should do once you're at that stage you can pop in your ham and you can already see the color is changing with those lovely carrots it's going a lovely warm sort of yellow color Give it another half an hour with the ham in. So it has had a few hours by now, you know, bubbling away. And your split peas should have almost disintegrated into your stock. And it'll just be wonderful. And it smells wonderful. But if you like a thicker soup, you know, do this the day before. Or even let it sit for an hour once it's cooked. And you will get a thicker soup. But we can't wait. We've got to have it right away. And just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here as well. So thank you all for your ongoing support, guys. And I will be over there shortly just for a wee catch up with you because I'm not over there as often as I should be. There's just not enough hours in the day, unfortunately, but I do appreciate every single one of you. And I appreciate you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments. And for those who follow me over on Instagram, thank you very much. I'm what's for t 3 over there. So if you're on Instagram, and you haven't found me yet, it would be lovely to see you because obviously I post pictures and videos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube. So it would be lovely to see you. So I'm going to leave you now because I am in danger of rambling <laughs> and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe, grocery haul, unboxing or whatever comes my way. So until I see you next, do take care of yourselves in this crazy world that we're living through at the moment. Yeah, do keep do take care of yourselves and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now. And do let me know if you're planning on making that soup. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. Bye.